Others will tell you to be saved is to dress well. To be saved is to stop smoking. To be saved is to be a good person. To be saved is to pray every day. But brothers and sisters, even without referring to the scriptures, the word saved comes from the word saved. It's an action. And only a powerful personality, a powerful subject, a powerful power can save you where you are helpless. Say for example, if I was in my house and my house was on fire, at that point in time I cannot deliver myself. I am in risk of dying. What will happen unto me? I'll begin screaming, calling for help. And whoever will come and secure me out of that trouble will be called my savior with regards to that situation. This man is asking Paul and Silas, what must I do to be saved? What is the requirement? The must requirement that I'm supposed to do so that I never go to hell. So if you are hearing me right, this is the point. This is a man who is asking a question to Paul and Silas because he does not want to go to hell because of his sins. Number one, in that question, he realizes that he's in danger of going to hell. You know when you begin to ask someone, what must I do to, to be saved? What must I do to go to heaven? It begins from you being informed that, hey, you are in danger. The probability, the chances of you going to hell are high. Any sin that you have ever committed in your life is enough to take you to hell. It's not about a big sin. It's not about a small sin. No. Any sin that you've ever committed in your life and you are still in that condition, you have not come to a point of asking Paul and Silas, what must I do to be saved? You have not come to a point of agreeing to speak to our soul winners, agreeing to speak to Pastor Paul, agreeing to look out for the truth. That sin is just enough to take you. How are you? I'm Pastor Paul from a Baptist church known as Faith World Christ Baptist Church. The reason why I knocked your door, I just wanted to know if you're a Christian or not. Don't mind about it. That's my wife also doing what I'm doing here. So are you a Christian? You go to church? Which one? Catholic. Okay. Going to church is important. And uh, I always uh, advise people to go to church. But besides going to church, I wish to know if you are a hundred percent for sure that if you are to die today, you will go to heaven. Are you a hundred percent for sure that if you are to die today, you will go to heaven? Hello? Are you a hundred percent for sure if you are to die today, you will go to heaven? I'm Pastor Paul Arindo. To, to help you at the end of the day if you are not if you do not know what you have to do to go to heaven i'm carrying the bible here to show you the easiest and simplest thing that god wants you to do to go to heaven that's my aim because everybody thinks they are going to heaven and everybody believes 
they are Christian. At least a majority of people think that they are going to heaven for being Christians. But when you read the word of God, not everyone is going to heaven. That's the reason why I'm here to help those who are humble in their hearts and wish to know what to do to go to heaven. What do you think one has to do to go to heaven? What do you think one must do to go to heaven? Repent. When you say repent means asking for forgiveness of your sins. Okay. So with with you repenting, are you now a hundred percent for sure that when you die you'll go to heaven? With the huh? Sanka. So it's a 50-50 thing. Okay. According to the Bible, God does not want you to repent to go to heaven. Okay? God does not want you to repent to go to heaven. But this is what God wants you to do. Acts chapter 16. We get to know this out of the story. Paul and Silas are in jail. And the soldier, the policeman who was guarding them, is desperate. He wants to know what to do to go to heaven. The Bible says, and brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? So to be saved is to go to heaven. So he's asking, keep note of the word must. That means the only thing. The answer they gave him is here. And they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved and thy house. So they told him to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. After he asked, what must I do? So they did not tell him, repent. Alright? They just told him, believe in Jesus Christ. So if you were to trust the word of God, you now have an answer here. What must you do to be saved? What must you do to be saved? Believe in what? The Lord Jesus Christ, right? Okay. Let's back up that with the other scriptures. John 3.16, the Bible says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life god the father sent his son jesus christ that whosoever anyone that believes in him should not perish to perish is to go to hell instead of you going to hell you may have everlasting life that means you may live forever Okay. All right. The Bible says, verse 18, He that believeth on him is not condemned. You believe on Jesus Christ, God will never take you to hell. But he that believeth not, just in case at the end of this conversation, you come to a point of saying, I do not want to believe. I want to continue repenting. The Bible says, He that believeth not is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. So why is God going to, con to condemn someone? Because this person has refused to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. But if you believe, no condemnation. So in other, so in other words, I'm saying, if you really want to go to heaven when you die, the easiest thing you have to do is to only believe on the Lord Jesus Christ period. He didn't say believe plus go to church. He didn't say believe and repent of your sins. He didn't say be a good person. He didn't say be, be doing all other things. Just only believe. Okay? Are you fine? Are you okay? Can I proceed on? You don't want me to proceed? Do you want me to proceed? You don't want me to proceed? Have you been offended by what I... Have you been offended by what I was showing you? Is the Bible the problem or me? No one. Okay. You don't want me to finish? Okay. I wish I knew the reason why you are stopping it. Because this is about your life after death. You want me to go? Okay, thank you. Mambo, what's up? Apa ni kwenye?